Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in California somewhere where a fraudster demands the feelings police because, well, he doesn't get his way. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, so security ignored me, didn't say anything to me. So this is pretty busy over here. This room is pretty busy. We'll wait for that one to die down a little bit before we go in there. Oh, we must have a fraudster here who doesn't like big crowds. Well, I can understand that. I mean, there are some people that just don't like big crowds. But you're a frauditor. You're supposed to go in there and announce your presence and cause trouble as much as you can for clicks and views. That was your opportunity and you blew it. But you're about to get uh, your opportunity here again in a minute with somebody else. And, uh, well, you're not going to like it. Uh -huh. Mind your business. Mind your business. Mind your business. Mind your business. You're dismissed. Go outside and do what? 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 Look at this. Look at this guy. Go outside and do what? <laughs> He's tightening his belt. Look at this guy. What the fuck? <laughs> Fraud, are you ever hear of the old maxim, don't start nothing, won't be nothing? I mean, you go in there and uh, put your camera practically in everybody's face and expect that they won't react in a negative way? I mean, you got to be kidding me. He's tightening his belt like he's going to do something. Go outside and do what? Why would you do that? 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 Cause I'm quit talking, you scary ass. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Back the fuck up, homie. Try to attack me again, bro. Step, step, step up to me, bro. See what happens. Wow, what a coward this guy is for bringing out the hot sauce. He wanted the confrontation and he got it and he just had to bring that out. Now for the next, like, what, 30 minutes, this moronic frauditor tries to get the security guard to call the cops. I mean, why would you rely on them to call the cops when you can call them yourself? I mean, don't you have a cell phone that you can uh, call them on? Oh, right, that's right. You're using the cell phone to... Uh, video this whole thing so yeah understandable carry on so let's see if the security guard does it <laughs> you're threat threatening you're threatening me for what what are you threatening me for for what for what you keep approaching me. I'm here in a public lobby. I'm here. I'm here working on a story. I'm a journalist. You just threatened me. I look like a dope fiend. Yeah, you look like a dope fiend. I know. That's what I'm saying. This nigga is in here. It's some weird shit. They just let him walk around with a camera, recording people and shit. It's some weird ass shit. I'm gonna go back to doing my work. Bro, I will beat your ass. Why? For what? For what? I'm going back to work. Oh, you are a journalist, huh? That's what you call it. I mean, funny, it seems that you lack the ethics and uh, morals of a standard uh, journalist. I mean, a journalist isn't going to come in here and stir up trouble like you idiots do. I mean, that's just... 
outright unprofessional in any journalistic situation. But please carry on with your stupidity. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you uh, going to be calling the police or anything? Did you not witness what just happened right in front of your desk? Huh? I'm speaking to her. I'm trying to aggravate the. I asked her a question. Because she just witnessed a man try to assault me. Her job is security. So you observed a potential assault. He tried to. He threatened me. I don't need to call the police. What's your name? Dave Pyers. Abe? Dave. Account manager for the security. Account manager for security. For Allied Universal Security. Yeah. Oh, this is, okay. And we've already had somebody like you come here before. Yeah, uh, why don't you go ahead and call the cops, for auditor, and tell them how you pulled out pepper spray and uh, brandished it in a building that is, well, I can only imagine uh, how it would react to everybody around you. I mean, that's what you got to watch out for. It's not just the person that you uh, hit with it. It's everybody else around you. But, of course, you numbskull, idiotic, moronic frauditors don't think these things out to their logical conclusion. I mean, that stuff is gas. And what does gas do? It expands until it dissipates. And how, how did it go last time? The guy had his phone taken by private citizens and they broke it. Wow. So, do I need to call the sheriff's department? Because you're going to try to agitate people into... I'm not, agitating, I'm not agitating anybody. I came in here peacefully recording. Well, you know people don't like to be recorded without their permission. Uh -huh. So, if you're going to do that in a setting where people are here for medical treatment, and mental health training, you're asking for problems. You're trying to agitate. No, you're assuming what I'm here for. And I'm allowed to do that. Just like you're assuming you can go do whatever you want to do when you confront people. No, I'm not, I'm not confronting you're anybody. I'm not assuming anything. This is a public building. It's a public building. You're doing it trying to cause problems. No, I would just... Okay, all right. I would just like to know if you're going to do your job and report Oh, the delicious irony of this. This is so damn funny. The, the, the frauditors generally say that, oh, the security guard's only job is to observe and report. Well, these two security guards observed you acting like a complete jackass, and they reported to you that they're not going to call the police because, well, of the aforementioned behavior. Oh, that is so damn funny. So just enjoy this moment while you last, this moment of irony right here. Oh, man, it's so damn funny. Okay, so you're not going to. No, I'm not going to. Okay. And what, is, what did she tell you exactly happened? She said it was an exchange of words and something. I don't know if there were threats or not, but there was an exchange of words that got loud, and that's it. Was there a threat physical, made, ma'am? There was no physical uh, confrontation. No physical what is, what, is, what is your name, first of all? Would you like to tell me that? I don't. You don't? Does she have to provide her name to me? No. Okay. No, I gave you my name. Yeah, and so was there a threat made? Yes or no? Just answer the question. Just know, just. She may not have been able to hear. It was, it was right here in front of her desk, right here. She's smiling, like, because she knows. It's all on camera, man. She said you don't care? You don't care. Oh, come on, frauditor. Be a man. Nobody cares about you. Nobody cares about your feelings. After all, these aren't the frauded or feelings police. They're not out to uh, uh, coddle you every time you uh, stub your toe or anything like that. And, uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, they saw the whole thing and they saw how antagonistic you were. And they're just going to let you suffer with that. Okay, I'm just going to let you know that there's thousands of people watching right now. 
So you guys, this is Allied Universal Private Security. We got Abe, who's the director, and then this lady who won't identify. So can we get a mod to put the number in the chat for the Fairfield branch? Let's get her fired and let's get Abe fired because they're not going to do their job. Oh, the frauder got his little fee wings hurt because the uh, mean old security guards wouldn't do what he told them to do after he tried to antagonize a situation earlier. I mean, oh, somebody call the fee wings police because he's going to need a baba and a blankie here in a minute. So please l let him go home and let him go take that baba and blankie to his home bed and cry his little self to sleep at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one